Hey, Emily, what does the programmer use to store information on a rainy day? Hmm? What? A cloud drive. <laughs> anyway, Emily, my computer is a mess, and at the risk of sounding dumb, I have some questions about file management. You've come to the right librarian, Julian. Humans had been organizing things for a while when computers came along, so they decided to go with the visual metaphor they figured everyone knew. In this case, a file cabinet. Is that why you hear people talk about file folders? Pretty much. Essentially, your computer is a giant series of file cabinets. Think of your desktop, downloads, and other spaces on your computer as drawers you put files into. And then you can put more folders and files into those folders, and more folders and files into those folders, and so on and so forth. Um, but what if I want to work on different computers? I have a desktop at home, but sometimes I want to work in the studio or somewhere else. I've been using this thumb drive, but it just spins. How big is the drive? About the size of my thumb. They gave it out at a campus event, I would say like two or three inches. No, how much memory do you have? Uh, I, I couldn't tell you. You can check by right-clicking on the drive and then choosing properties on a Windows computer or get info on a Mac. Ooh, eight gigabytes. That's not very much, is it? No, a video project can be bigger than that all on its own. This is why we suggest a portable hard drive with at least 500 gigabytes. Anyway, a thumb drive is just another file cabinet you can carry around with you. Well, what about cloud drives? I have a bunch of stuff in my Google Drive, and I filled it up as well. Cloud drives, like Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive, work like thumb drives, but you have to be connected to the internet to access them. They can get a little confusing because you can set them up to look like drawers on your computer, which is really convenient, but they won't work if you're not connected to the web. They're great for backing up physical drives and sharing files with peers, professors, and collaborators alike. The Google Drive that you got at UTC is huge, so it's a great place to keep things. It's much bigger than a personal Google account. Oh, I'll have to back up my PC through one so I don't lose all this messy data. That's a great idea. Now, how are you going to find things? Uh, yeah. Don't worry, we'll talk about naming conventions in the next video.